I think in terms of what next and how do we engage more in this issue as, as feminists from whatever region we're in, I think the devil is in the details. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're quite weak. And it really is um, the point that Oni had made about getting complex before we simplify. And both the feminist uh, movements and particularly though the climate justice movements, as, as Oni pointed out, have really not done that. And so we're still at the point of calling attention to the crisis which remains critical, mm -hmm. but you know, what does adaptation mean? What does it imply for us? What is resilience? What does that imply? Mm -hmm. um, the way that resourcing is flowing, what does that mean and how do we analyze it? And I know there are people and feminists doing work on this, but you know, the Green Climate Fund, and as the money comes and as it starts to settle, particularly around our ocean regions, um, both in the Caribbean and in the Pacific, the, the way that money is flowing and who's coming, the technologies involved that are really shifting us away from a more revolutionary agenda um, around, around the transformations we need. So I think when it comes to feminist engagement in the climate crisis, it's now we need to shift to that level of complexity and detail to inform then the simplified messaging of the mobilizing. Um, so I think that's where, where it's at and it's a lot of hard work um, to be done because it's moving so fast in our intergovernmental spaces, I know, in our region. So a couple of things on our climate change policy. It's great that we're having a climate change policy. Fiji is definitely going to be, in the region at least, one of the first movers on this. And you're right about the moratorium, you know, it's just 10 year moratorium on exploration, exploitation, not exploration. We should have that on exploration also. But the moratorium in itself is not enough. You know, it, it doesn't guarantee um, the institutions that are needed, that are linked to deep sea mining. It doesn't give us the, it doesn't guarantee us a robust judicial system where we need to be able to take you know, the, EIA, the violators of the EIAs too. You know, our legislative system is weak. This is where the corporate get away with what they're doing is in the institutions that the moratorium doesn't cover. The moratorium is about science, knowledge, getting the science behind it. It's not addressing the legislative environment that's needed to prosecute those who violate our oceans. Um, it doesn't address things like WIPO and the capture of knowledge. You know, who owns all of that knowledge that the sciences are going to get us on deep sea mining. The moratorium is about halt, stop within the EEZ. It's not saying let's let do a moratorium out in the international waters. That's still up for grabs. So while it's good to have that moratorium maybe hidden in the climate change agenda, it's good to see the ocean climate change nexus, you know, at least in the Pacific, be more connected. But there needs to be, like we're saying, a deeper interrogation of the things we're asking for and the language that we're using, it needs to be more complex. And that takes me to the other question about the nuclear free movement campaign versus the climate change campaigns that we're having now. Yes, I think that's where the hope is, that we can see the hope is that it's building, it's coming, um, it's mobilizing the region, you know, there's a response, young people are interested. But again, the climate change needs to be more complex. The language, we need to do that thing where we make it complex first before we make it simple. And I think some of our climate change campaigns are first simple before it's complex. We need to use the language, move beyond language in the climate change campaigns that goes beyond, I don't know, um, ocean pollution, plastic st straws and coffee cups towards saying actual words like capitalism and neoliberalism that at least Pacific climate change activists don't want to say, they don't want to say those words. So whilst there is space, it is about making it complex first before we simplify it and package it. Mm -hmm.